Here it is, June 2022. Another month is over with, the month of May. I'm going to share my my money with you. I'm going to show you what I spent my money on. I'm showing you my budget. I itemized everything out and I'm going to share it to you with you right now. Well, actually not right this minute. You know what you're going to have to wait for. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Right, Hello there. Here it is. Here's the money that I spent. We'll go ahead and get right to the bottom line, right? Okay, and I'll tell you. I spent $2,082. Actually, I spent more than that. I spent $2,217. Now, I rounded up or rounded down on all of this. Let's start at the top. My first thing, item was my rent. Uh, my rent is probably, well, normally it's eight, it's eight hundred dollars a month, but I pay these people for six months in advance, and they give me a hundred dollars off. So my rent in this apartment is only seven hundred dollars per month. It's a two two bedroom, two bath condo apartment condo slash apartment I don't know what these are but it has an ocean view I'm on the top floor of the building that I'm in it's only two apartments up here so I think it's a good price for for what I get and I see pretty much all of the ocean from here and get a really good breeze and all that kind of good stuff but anyway my rent $700 my electric bill is $55 now the reason why it's $55 is because for most of this month I've been running my air conditioner at night. Uh, this apartment has two air conditioning systems. One is the the main AC that covers the main living part of it, the kitchen, dining room, little office where I sit and do my work. Um, and then there's a separate air conditioning system that runs that cools the two bedrooms. There is no heating system, at least, well, at least I, not that I know, I haven't tried it. But anyway, normally, if I don't run the air conditioner, which most of the year I don't, uh, my electric bill in this apartment is around $11 a month. Next item is my water, and then that's bottled water. We, the guys that, the guards that that pr help protect us here and in our building here, well, I don't want to put it that way. It makes it sound like it's a dangerous place to be. We have, uh, uh, well, we have guards. That's what they call them. They're guards. But they have their own water business here. And so they, they sell us five-gallon jugs of water for $2 a piece. And I tip them to, to bring them up to me uh, so I don't have to carry it up even though I have an elevator, but still, it's a five-gallon jug of water is a lot of weight for me. But, uh, so I have, I've gone through two bottles. Um, I don't really, I used to use this bottled water to cook with, but I don't anymore. Uh, since I boil everything, I'll just go ahead and use the tap water. I haven't gotten sick from it yet, so I know there are some people are going to come back and say, ew. Uh, so my gas bill, this is my cooking gas that, that, comes with the apartment that I have to pay for is seven dollars that's about average it averages six or seven dollars a month this month it was seven dollars uh, my medicine which is mostly blood pressure medicine and miscellaneous prescriptions I did have to call the doctor once this month and she came out I had a house call and she gave me a prescription for some antibodies because I had a really badly infected throat sore throat and so anyway my Blood pressure medicine and those miscellaneous prescriptions was $55. My insurance, this is my private insurance, is $98. It's Confia Med. Uh, I could be paying less. If I went to IESS, I'd pay $71. But as it stands, I'm not using IESS. I have private. It cost me $98. It's a $5,000 deductible. And that's all there is to it. My transportation is $43. That's all taxis. My grocery bill, 200 bucks. Now, you'll see down here, a little bit further down, 
here where I have just for fun $258. Well, guess what most of that is? That's mostly beer and wine. When I do my budgeting, I have a budget program that I use. I don't include beer and wine in my grocery bill because, let's face it, folks, it's not groceries. <laughs> but everybody does their budget their way. You do yours your way, and this is how I do mine. I spend more money on beer and wine than I do on groceries, I'm sad to say. And I don't drink that much. I drink two 16-ounce cans of Pilsner beer a day. Sometimes I don't even get two in. And then I have a glass of wine before I go to bed. That's my alcohol consumption, period. And it cost me 258 bucks this month. It's not cheap. Don't think you're going to come to Ecuador and get cheap alcohol. There is cheap alcohol here, but do you want it? I, I, I don't know. So anyway, $200 for groceries for me. And I could probably even knock another 25 or maybe 50 bucks off of that grocery bill if I went to the market or shopped at the little tiendas. But I'm lazy. I'm just, I'm fat and lazy. And I go to the grocery store in the mall and take a taxi home because to help me carry it. So 200 bucks. House cleaning. I'm, I also don't clean my house. I have somebody else do it for me because Again, I'm fat and lazy. Uh, 50 bucks. She comes twice a, w a month. She comes every other Wednesday. Lady comes in and cleans this place from front to back and top to bottom. Toilets, everything for 25 bucks. She's usually here about four hours. And that's all she wants. 25 bucks. So $50 for this month. My laundry service is $30. They pick up and deliver. They come by every Monday and pick up my laundry. They bring it back on Tuesday. Nice and clean and folded, and that includes pickup and delivery. I believe they charge a dollar for picking up and delivering. My cell phone is $23. I'm with Claro. I could probably I could have a cheaper plan and get a discount, but I'd have to have the cheapest plan they have uh, with limited bandwidth and all that stuff. So I'd stay with their next plan. It's unlimited bandwidth. It's at Claro. It's excellent service i don't ever have any issues with them when my internet was down here at the house a couple days this month uh, i used my cell phone as a hotspot and i watched tv off of it and did my work and even uploaded a video to youtube so but anyway 23 bucks for my cell phone home maintenance 14 dollars that was cleaning supplies i had to buy medical 260 now 200 of that as you can see here was for Botox my Dr. Carino my dentist because of the problem that I have with grinding my teeth we decided to try Botox to see if it would help me and for those of you interested in knowing it does and it doesn't will I do it again I don't know man it was eight shots, three right at my jawline on both sides of my face and two uh, on the side of my head. The little shots down on my, by my jaw felt like I was getting stung by a scorpion. Really painful. And then of course $60 for Dr. Garcia house call when she came to see me because of my sore throat. Giving tips, $39 I spent this month. That's usually about a dollar at a time, sometimes two dollars. Software subscriptions, twenty-nine dollars. That's my website and my Adobe subscription. Dining out, two hundred and six dollars. I felt pretty good about that this month. TV, ten dollars. I pay for Majest TV. I get all my American TV programming for that little fee. That's a nice little service to have. If you come to Monta, I think actually you can probably get it anywhere in Ecuador and you want to get hooked up for American TV programming, let me know. I'll hook you up with this guy. Then I have Just for Fun, $258. And like I said earlier, that's mostly pure in wine. Total for the month, $2,082. Now, down here I have $135 that not budgeted for. That was for items like trash bags that I bought from the street vendors. They sell them on the streets, you know, $2, a dollar. They have a little package of trash bags, you know, and I don't mind buying it from these guys. It helps them support their family. I got a haircut this month, then had some shipping fees from USA Valet, and then I bought some earplugs. 
and so that was what that was the items that accounted for uh, not budgeted for but so you can see for the total for the month 2217 uh, you know could I do better than that of course I can you know everybody can do better than that and also you got to keep in mind Monta is probably the most expensive coastal city to live in I could probably live on half of this if I was in Cuenca I, I, everything's cheaper in Cuenca or Vilcabamba or a Mendo or just any number of places outside of away from Monta but that's my budget my tastes are a little bit different from most people I'm not as frugal but I'm also, I'm, I'm blessed and in, in, I have a fairly decent income. Uh, not enough to live in the United States at the same comfort level that I live here. But enough to, to live very comfortably here and I still save money. I save a, pr a pretty good little chunk of change every single month. Uh, I'm not telling you what my income is, but I, I do okay for myself. And I live comfortably and that's all there is to it. So anyway, that's my month. That's my month. That's my budget for this month. I hope you get some some good out of this, give you some idea of what you can expect. I know that you can probably, most people can probably do a lot better than this. I know there are people living here that live on a day-to-day -day basis that do a lot better than, than what I do on their budget. But that's my budget. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you on the next one. Ciao.